Hello everyone, welcome to Excel problem solving series. So this video will be very much interesting. So do watch this video till the very end because into this video, I'll be teaching three of the most important concepts which are available into the Excel. So into one of this previous video, we have seen about this flash fill option. So into this video, we'll be seeing the fill series option which is available in Excel. So friends, what was that flash fill option? So it was nothing but let's say into one of the column, I have the product code which are present here. So I want to grab the characters which from the product code which is present before the dash, grab the characters which are present between the dash. So there are two dashes you can see into the product code each of the product code and the characters which are present after the dash so i want to grab this and we solve this particular problem using the flash fill option so into this video we'll be seeing the fill series function now generally what happens is let's say i have a data set here you can see onto my screen and for each of the rows which is present here into my data set i want to mark the index number so index number in the sense one two three four for each of the entry or the rows which is present into my data set for example, here you can see I have my data set here and for each of the rows which is present here, I want to mark the index number as 1, 2, 3 and likewise for each of the rows which is present into my data set. So 1, 2, 3, 4 likewise for all the rows which is present. So what would a user generally do to do this particular thing? So I would just write here 1, 2, 3, 4. I would select all these four options and I would drag this formula to the very last. So you can see all my index number has been filled for each of the rows. Also into this particular case, there are just 14 rows. What if the number of rows which is present into my data set is 1 lakh? So you can just imagine how complex or how time taking task is that. So for example, if the number of rows, for example, into my data set is 1000 for this particular case I would, so i would just write here one two three and i would drag this formula till the very last until i am getting the thousand rows and i would stop till there because the number of rows which is present into my data set is 1000 or the number of index value which i want is until the 1000 value so this was a very time taking task you can see so this data set is very much small what if i have a data set which is having one lakh rows so you can see how much complex or time taking task it is to drag this formula to the very last until i am getting the index number of the row what is the easiest way to solve this particular task so we can solve this particular task using the fill series which is present into the excel so let us see how to do this so for this first of all i would just write here as one i would go to this home tab here you can see the fill option i would click on to the series option i would just select the column option because i want to paste the entire entry into just a single column what if i want to paste the entire entry into a single row so i would have selected here the row option but into this case i would select the column option because i want to paste my entire index value into just a single column so into the step value i would write here as one and into the stop value so i would come to the step value later so what is the stop value so this stop value is the last value which you want to insert or the last value of your index number or the number of rows which is present into your data set so for example the number of rows in which is present into my data set is thousand so i would just write here the stop value is thousand i would click ok so you can see automatically with just a single click the uh, 1000 row index value has been filled into my data set now the same problem that this can be solved into multiple ways there are infinite ways to solve this particular problem and we'll be seeing this later also but this is the simplest with the easiest way to solve this particular problem and with just a single click you can fill let's say if there are one lakh rows also just with just a single click you can fill the index numbers into your particular column now coming to that particular option of step value so that is very simple so for example i want to get my index number as one three five seven all the odd numbers which are present into the number series so for this i would go to this fill i would go to the series option i would click column into the step value i would write here as one because i am jumping one step so I, that is why i am writing here as two and to, into the stop value let's say i want to get the values until 100 only i would click ok so you can see i am getting jumping one step all the numbers are coming into my index value until 100 if i want to jump four values i would just color this to simplify so one i have colored so i want one and then i am jumping three values and then i want five again i am jumping three values so i want here nine and this kind of series i want into my index value into that particular column so for this i would just write here one so i would go to this fill i would go to this series and into the step value i would write as four and into the stop value as write as thousand i would click ok 
and this is pasted into a single row but i want to paste this into a column only so i would again do this but this time i would select columns and into this step value i would write as four and into this top value i would write as thousand i would click ok so you can see all these values have been filled all the color values you can see one five nine thirteen i'm getting this is the function of the step value thing uh, which is present here into the fill series option this is one of the simplest way in which you can mark the index number of your data set now there are multiple ways so one of these ways is using the row function which is available into the excel so let us see how to do this using the row function so to do the same thing using the row function i would just write here row and you can see i'm getting the row number here and and i would just drag this formula to the very large and you can just see i'm getting all the row values and this is how we can just mark my index values also now the other way in which we can do the same formula solve the same task is i would just write here one i would click on to my first cell and i would add it up to the one value and i will just drag this formula to the very last and you can see i am solving the same problem into multiple ways so, so there are n number ways you can solve a problem into the excel but what is the simplest way you can solve the formula into the fastest manner that is the main concern and that is solved using the fill series option which you have seen earlier now into all these cases i just need to drag this formula till the very last so solve this particular problem but using the fill series function let's say i'm having one lakh values into my data set i can just do that particular task using just a single click second thing which i wanted to show here was using the rand between function which is available in excel now from the name itself you might have got it is used for generating the random numbers between certain values so if if i would just write the formula here you can see it returns a random number between numbers you specify into the bottom option you can just write the lower most value which you want to get so let's say i want to generate a random value between 30 and 100 so i would just write into the bottom i would write 30 and into the top i would write here as 100 i would click ok so you can see i've got this particular number here a particular rand between function is useful into many cases in which you just want to randomly analyze a particular data set so for example i have let's say a student column here you just see i've just hit enter and the number has changed and i have different students which are present here so let's say these are my students ids or raw numbers you can see and into the second column i have the marks now if let's say i want just to analyze a sample data set here i want to generate here or paste here a numbers between let's say 50 till 100 so the minimum marks is 50 and the maximum marks is 100 into a particular subject or the student can get so using the rand between function i can solve this particular task so into the bottom most i would write here 50 and into the top i would write 100 i would click on to the enter and you can see i would just drag this formula to the very last and you can see the numbers have come up there and this number is between 50 and 100 so this is the usefulness of the rand between function this particular rand between function I, this would change dynamically every time i am hitting the enter button and to save this or to paste it for permanent i would just control c control v and i would paste this particular thing as values so this won't change anytime i am doing anything onto my sheet so now friends this third thing which i wanted to show here and this is also very much important so let's say i want to create a table and what is this shortcut formula to do that so i would just click onto my keyboard control plus t and you can see you will get this particular option and it is saying where is the data for your table just selected the range onto my data is pasted here you can see this particular option my table has headers and this option has been checked here this is because my table actually has headers so headers means the topmost row which is present here or the row which defines that particular column to this particular case i have the students id so this is the students id column and this is the marks columns and this has been written my table has headers here so i would just click on to this ok option and you can see the table has been created here so this is the simple way you, in which you can create the table now taking this particular example the particular data set does not have a header here so i would just click on to this control t and i would uncheck this option i would i would click on to the ok so you can see it automatically provides a table header for me and it shifts the entire data set of one row below and it creates a table for me so friends this was a simple and a useful function to create a table into the excel so friends i hope this particular video was very much informational and we learned a lot of many different concepts so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meeting in the next video thank you so much bye